Hello and welcome to the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. I present important women's issues and fearless feminine voices disrupting our society. Today is August 4th, 2022. Here is the Feisty News for Women. Under the new Georgia state abortion law that took effect on July 20th, unborn children will be eligible for a $3,000 tax exemption, according to Georgia's Department of Revenue. Usually, to claim a child as a dependent, you must be able to prove that the child lives with you and the child must have a social security number. But since the new ban on abortions beginning the moment a fetal heartbeat can be detected, typically six weeks into the pregnancy, the new tax law states that any unborn child with a detectable human heartbeat shall qualify as a dependent minor. In other news, a man in China has been arrested for allegedly selling his mentally disabled daughter as a bride to multiple men over the course of three years. Chinese media has reported a gender gap due to strong son preference, the one child policy, and easy access to sex selective abortion. Because of this, a farmer named Z from a village in Lianyan in central China sold his daughter to three men to get bride payments from the men's families. Z collected more than 90,000 won or 13,300 US dollars from one man's family and then continued to sell his daughter to other men. Z has been arrested for swindling, but charges have not been officially filed. Z's wife is also mentally disabled and she and their daughter have been removed from Z's home as the investigation continues. In other news, according to the BBC, four US police officers have been arrested and charged over the fatal shooting of Brianna Taylor in 2020. Brianna, 26-year-old hospital worker, was killed in her home in Louisville, Kentucky, when plainclothes police who were executing a no-knock search warrant forced themselves into her apartment and shot her multiple times. Her murder sparked outrage and protests around the country. Only one officer involved in the raid former Louisville detective Brett Hankinson had been previously charged with using excessive force when he opened fire during the raid. Under the new charges, the other officers, Joshua James, also a former officer, and serving officers Kelly Hannah Goodlett and Kyle Meany are being charged with civil rights offenses, unlawful conspiracy, unconstitutional use of force, and obstruction. Reacting to news of the new charges on Thursday, the family's lawyer said, Today was a huge step towards justice. Well, it's time for a break. What would you do if your child was sent to prison and a Texas woman sets her boyfriend on fire after an argument? Whew. I'll tell you all about these stories when we come back. Don't miss it. Hi, Jazz here from JD Bathco. My mission started with the creation of a vagina friendly bath soak my F, my love letter to women, but it didn't stop there. JD Bath Co. now has an entire line of clean beauty products made for sensitive skin. From our handmade soaps to our skin conditioning and clearing oils to our best selling organic rose oil or one of our many organic, vegan, cruelty free body creams or the newly added line of body scrubs. JD Bathco is located in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia, and we would love to have you shop with us. Come check us out at www.jdbathco.com. Look forward to seeing you.
Welcome back. I am T. Erica with the feisty news for women. Girl, guess what? Did you hear about the Texas woman who set her boyfriend on fire? On July 18th, just after 8 p.m., police responded to multiple 911 calls about a man on fire at a gas station. After viewing surveillance footage and interviewing witnesses, police learned that 24-year-old Brianna Johnson and her 25-year-old boyfriend Ricky Doyle had driven to the gas station together in a Jeep when they began arguing. Brianna then pumped gasoline into the back seat where Ricky was sitting and lit it on fire. Ricky jumped out of the Jeep and Brianna got in and left the scene. Bystanders helped by putting the fire out before first responders arrived. Ricky was taken to the hospital with serious burns all over his body. The next day, Brianna was arrested for aggravated assault and the charges were upgraded to murder when Ricky died a little more than a week later. Well, according to the 2020 statistics, there are more than 162 million men in the United States. If things don't seem to be working out with one relationship, just choose another man. Don't kill him. In other news, we're living the feisty life and sometimes we cannot prepare for the road ahead no matter how much we try. I want you to meet Catherine, a woman whose daughter is now in prison for a crime anyone would think is actually heinous. Yet Catherine claims it could have happened to anyone. Catherine, what happened to change your family's life forever? Hello, my name is Catherine Gall and I'm the mother of a mother who lost her mind. In 2014, my registered nurse daughter, working full time, breastfeeding, sleeping four hours a night, facing a custody battle, finally caved in and smothered her beautiful son. I was living an hour and a half away and the neighbor called me and said, the police are at your daughter's house and they just led her away. I'm like, what? They said, she's very calm. And the first thing I screamed was, where's the baby? And the neighbor said, I don't know. Well, she was lying to me. So the baby was dead and my daughter had failed at her own suicide. So she went to the Milwaukee County Jail and was charged with first degree intentional homicide that carries life in prison. The charge was reduced to first degree reckless which carries 25 to 40 years. This was a three month saga. Eventually my daughter pled guilty to get out of jail where she was being abused. She was sentenced to 25 years where the lawyers asked for 11 to 17, which, oh yay, I learned was the national average. Um, Wisconsin is a truth in sentencing state. So there's no early release for good behavior. There's no anything. In prison, my daughter was called baby killer. I want you to know she is not a baby killer. My daughter was, is an amazing person. She was a registered nurse who worked seven years in the mom baby unit. She loved her son. She wanted more children. She wanted an intact family. She's not a baby killer. She's just a mom who lost her mind. In order to process the complex feelings I was having, I began to write. And I began to write every day after I visited my daughter in prison. I counted, there were 52 visits. And every entry began with the day after I visit my daughter in prison. I was overcome by the smell, the noise, the sound, um, the procedure to go through the guard gates, um, you know, the fact that she went through a strip search before and after the visit. I mean, it went on and on and on. In the process of going through this, I went through six therapists writing at the same time. And finally, I realized six therapists couldn't help me. I had to help myself. And therefore I wrote The Yellow Toothbrush, a memoir of trauma and mercy. Perinatal mood and anxiety disorder is a real thing. How can I be so happy when I'm so sad? Why am I sad? 20% of new mothers are experiencing this and they need support, 
They need courage to reach out and tell the truth, and they need loving people around them to carry them through a period that may last up to two years. Two years of adjustment, of caring for a new baby and trying to get your own body and brain back. Thank you, Catherine, for sharing your story about your daughter's mental break. If you are having frequent intrusive thoughts telling you to harm someone, please remove yourself from the person immediately and tell someone about the thoughts you're having. Having thoughts isn't a crime and you can get help with the stress causing them. Take care of yourself. Well, thank you for watching the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. Remember, be feisty. Women must be seen and heard. Welcome to the Feisty. 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 Welcome to the Feisty. 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 Feisty